Oh, hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to Chop Jack Cook. I've got Kim in the kitchen. Welcome Kim. Hi Jo, thanks for having me in your kitchen today. Oh, it's so good to have you. Ta so we're making jam drops. Yum. I know, yum. And we're up to the point where we're just about to roll it into balls and pop them on the tray and then they'll go into the oven to be cooked. And what we're going to talk about while we're doing that is um, manufactured homes. Yeah, I want to know more about this Jo. Tell me, tell so, me. It's a good question, Kim, because I didn't know very much about no. it either. And um, so primarily that's, uh, they, they're in like caravan parks, that's sort of where they've started. Okay. So the home, you buy the home, but you don't own the land that it's, uh, it sits on. Okay, yeah. so and then you could move the house. You could technically, you could move the house, but in reality it would be really expensive. I see. And you'd need somewhere to move it to. Right. Yeah. Else, you're going to have... Um, like you're going to have maintenance of the house. Yep. Yeah. So you got like painting can be really expensive. That's right. And um, yeah. So also being in those facilities. So is that also then you've got like a body corporate fee or, or how does that work? Yeah, that's a good question. Let's just have a look. Um, so the the fee. So you've got a site rent. Yep. And then usually the park owner is responsible for the park maintenance and the homeowner for their mm -hmm. own home. Yeah. And then, um, so you've got to be really clear about who's responsible for yep. site maintenance. And then, so you're going to have a fee as well for utilities. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the, there's been sort of some amendments around that as well. So, for example, like one of the amendments, site increases can only be limited to once a year. Yeah. And, yeah, and you want to make sure yeah, that you've all got that in writing within your contract. Yeah, that's yeah. right, and that you, um, yeah, that you understand sort of, uh, that process. Yeah, and like in terms of the utilities, so you want to know like how they've been calculated, what have you been charged, you've got electricity, you've got gas, you've got sewage, you've got water. Mm. And um, also, like, you really want to know about what your phone and your internet as yes. well. Like, yep. how does that all yeah. work? And I'm just thinking, too, in some of those parks, you know, they've got the pools, the tennis courts, yeah, bowling, that's right. you know, that's the beautiful right. gardens. So, yeah. know, so what happens there? And in particular, you know, let's say, you know, in the tennis court it needs new lighting. So um, does that come out of the body corporate or is there a sinking fund? So, yeah, I think these things really need to be clear about. Yes, that's right. So it's it's sort of um it's governed by that that different legislation that that's quite separate to body corporates. So it's different legislation again. So yes, you you raised a really good point, and I'm just going to test to see um to see how our mixture's going. Yeah. See, it looks quite moist. It is probably could be a little bit drier, I think, couldn't it? Because that's sort of like how we're going to like do that. I reckon we could just add a little a bit little more because it's probably still a little bit moist. And as you can see, it makes quite a lot. It does, yeah. <laughs> um, We've got a big afternoon tea here. I know. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's amazing because they do expand. and They do, yeah. yeah. So, and we've got some jam there. So I can see we've got my favourite, the raspberry jam, is it, Joe? Yep, raspberry jam. And we've got apricot jam. Yeah. I think I'll have to stick with the raspberry. That's You're my stick favorite. with the raspberry. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, so, like, the park owner also has um, like obligations too. Um, so, you know, they've got to um, they must ensure that residents, you know, have access to their site, that the communal facilities, you know, you know, like you were talking about. The you know, possibly there's pool, there's possibly yep. tennis courts. They've got to make sure that those communal, um, uh, communal, uh, communal facilities, they're tidy, they're good working order. Park owner also has to be con contactable. And they've actually got to, um, you know, supply yeah. utilities to the park. Um, and there's also, like, they have to have, like, emergency planning as well, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. in case... Yeah. Well, I, you know, in case of um, an emergency. Um, and there's common areas as well, so that, that's got to be maintained and there's got to be um, mail facilities. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know too what you mentioned before, you know, regarding with the internet. Yeah, yeah. so that would, that would be something else because um, perhaps older parks, you know, perhaps their internet like, isn't quite as good as some right. of the newer parks. And another thing to think about as well is um, 
you know, caravan parks are in um, prime real estate, aren't they? Like some Definitely. of those caravan oh, parks. The old ones. Yeah, yes, the old yes, ones. Yes. So, so sometimes, you know, yeah. that um, they get sold like because yeah. the land um, becomes yeah. really valuable. And, uh, you know, developers are always looking for, uh, use, you know, for land mm. to develop and build apartments on. So, um, so they do get sold. And then, um, so people, you know, in, in that caravan park, you know, they would have to move. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, and within um, the parks too, I, I would imagine that you've got, um, you know, people that are like casual, that will just come for a small amount of time, then you'd have your people living there that's, permanently. Yeah, so I, think that's, I think you're right, and that's a really... Uh, Something, something else, to isn't consider. it, to consider, yeah, yeah. that you've got a mixture of tenants. Uh, and certainly some of those tenants um, might be, you know, quite transitory, aren't they? Definitely, yes. Yeah, so I reckon that's probably about, good. As you can see, mine are getting bigger and bigger, so... But, um, I know, that's what happens, isn't it? It does, yeah. It was a classic... Uh, well, yours are all it's like nice. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah get bigger and bigger. Okay, yes. Okay, I think um, that probably brings it to the end of that discussion. But again, uh, just in summary, I think um, if you're looking at manufactured parks, then do that spreadsheet that I talked about where you, yep. you know, if, you, if you're going and visiting lots, yes. and then it really becomes quite difficult to remember individual ones. That's so right. do a spreadsheet and keep track mm. of all of those. And I'm even thinking too, it'd be worthwhile if you can, is going and having a chat to someone that already lives there. Yeah, go visit yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And they do, I think, some of those retirement villages, resort lifestyles, they have open days. They do, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But yeah, for me, it'd be good to talk to yeah, a resident there just to, yeah. to see, you know, what they like and what is it that they don't like. And some of them, some of the residents um, are really long term, mm. aren't they? So really, just the next step then is... Um, you know, doing that, and that sort of um, brings us to the end of our next step. Uh, what we'll do is just pop some jam in. Okay. Now I'm and a clean spoon. Thank there you, because you know. I've left mine in there. Oh, that's okay. And then we've got some nice jam, and we've also got apricot as well so did you make this jam joe <laughs> no, no from the supermarket uh, that it's my favorite jam that one the bon mama mm. from france oh, i can't wait to taste it oops my grandmother, um, she used to make grape jam. I've never had grape mm. jam. It was Oops. delicious. Yeah. Now I'm really making a mess here. Oh. But these ones are going to just taste it, so yummy. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much, oh. to be honest, hey. That's right. Because it sort of um, doesn't have to be perfect. It's like most things in life, isn't it, that um, it doesn't have to be perfect. No, and this is a... Um, Something good that you can get the children or the grandkids involved with. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And children, they love cooking, don't they? They sure do. And also, um, it, it's really, it's a maths lesson. That's because right, yeah. Because it's like can... half a cup, a quarter of a cup. That's right, half yeah. a teaspoon. Yeah, yeah that's so. right. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. And um, thanks, everyone, for watching. And thanks, Kim, for... No, thanks Helping for having me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Helping with jam drops? Yeah. Oh no, I missed one. I can't wait to eat them, so thank you. You're welcome. I just missed one for some reason. Oh. There we are. Yeah, that final dollar bit there was it was sort of had a lot of um liquid. It's all right. Alright. Well thank you. Thanks for having me.